Alright, hello. This is Pikachu747 today, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to download Project M. 3.0. Well, 3.02. To be exact, you're going to want to go to Project M. Mgame.com or just get yeah, download. So if you're you could just go to productmgame.com and hit the download thing at the top. Now um, now the full set. Well, you you can test out both. All I, all I can tell you is full set has better graphics and, but can't use Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi safe has Wi-Fi but um, a bit worse graphics. Now you have to do this with an SD card. The SD card must be less or equal to 2 gigabytes in capacity. So I've got my 2 gigabytes SD card. Now it should be in here. Um, here we go. It's better. All right. SD card. So uh, you can just get it now. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing the full set. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video and resume it when this is done. All right. Now we're back with this no home blue thing. That's what you want. If you're doing this download. Now, FYI, if you have a hacked Wii, then you really should just check out another video because this is a hack. Alright. Now, let's unzip this file. Alright. Open with. Archive utility. So you should get a file right here. Now, if you were using a Windows computer, all of this would be the exact same, except instead of like clicking overlay, you want to just right click it and hit extract. Then you would wait. Now, I'm not going to do this, because I already have a full set on my SD card. So, now if you got this, you can open this up. Now, as you can see, you don't have apps on here like I do. It's because you haven't played it yet. You'll get apps once you play it. So, you would move or cut or copy these things onto your SD card. But since I already have these on my SD card, and copying it takes extremely long, I'm not going to bother with that. Now, I'm just going to drag these into the trash, because I don't need them anymore. And once you have them on your SD card, you're ready to go. Now, if you're on a Mac, I do recommend putting it in the trash, because that's how you eject it or else these things might get damaged. Now, on to the Wii. Now, I'm gonna tell you all that Wii stuff on the Wii, and now I'm about to switch to Wii mode. No, not Wii mode on the computer, but on that thing. I'm going to show you guys the actual, like, inserting the SD card and stuff like that. So, See you guys right after this. All right, I'm back. Now, I haven't told you already, but a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl required to play this. Now, you will have to erase all your stages and move them onto another SD card. Now, I have my SD card put in here at, at this point, but actually I don't. Sorry about this. Uh, Alright, so if you think 
that something has went wrong, just unplug your Wii or turn it off. Well, try and turn it off first. It's always better to try and turn it off before you do anything bad. So if that doesn't work, then unplug your Wii, just try again. Um, so, as said, hold on a second, let me put my SD card in. So, once you've put your SD card in, just go into the stage build. And this black stuff will appear on the screen. And that will appear on the screen. It's okay. Don't freak out or anything. If you want to operate the launcher, hold the weird mode upright. Play to play. Um, update to like update the launcher if there's an update available. About to like check your launcher and your project down version to see if it's like the full or Wi-Fi safe. Exit is just return to the Wii system menu, so we're gonna play. We've made it up to this point. You should be ready to go, but I'm still gonna continue on from here just to show you what's to be expected. The background is different. And it says Super Smash Bros. Project M. If your menu looks like this, you should be ready to go. That's all I have for today. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and make sure to have fun with Project M. Now, goodbye.